Welcome back to the channel. In today's lesson, we'll look at division of complex numbers. I'll show you how to divide complex numbers with two examples. These examples will lead us to two different ways to divide complex numbers. That said, let's get the first thing I want us to look at is conjugates of, num of complex numbers. Conjugates of complex numbers are actually the same complex numbers but with an opposite sign. Now take for example, if I have a plus b i, here is a complex number, the conjugate of a plus b i will be the same thing as a minus b i. Now if I have c plus d i, the conjugate of c plus d i will be the same thing as c minus d i. Now if I have e minus f i, the conjugate of e minus f i will be e plus f i. With this, let's see how we now apply this to perform division of complex numbers. Now, I'll take this example first. I want us to look at this first. 6 minus 4i over 2i. Now, if I'm to perform this division, what I'll do simply is to multiply both the numerator by 2i and the denominator by 2i. Now, this way, I've only multiplied the whole expression by 1. 2i divided by 2i is the same thing as, as 1. So this will be the same thing as 6 times 2i, that will be 12i, minus 4 times 2i, that will be 8i squared, over 2 times 2i in the denominator, that will be 4i squared. So in our last lesson, we showed you via the multiplication of complex numbers that i squared is the same thing as minus 1. In case you missed that lesson, please do not hesitate to check the description below where we we'll place a lesson or where we we'll place links to all our lessons on complex numbers. So this is the same thing as 12i minus 8i squared is the same thing as minus 1 over 4 into minus 1. So I can interpret this now to mean 12i 8i minus 8 times minus 1, that's plus 8 over minus 4. Now, if I have to solve this, this is the same thing as I have minus 4, 12 divided by minus 4, that becomes minus 3i, 8 divided by minus 4, minus 2. So I can write this to be the same thing as minus 2 minus 3i. I've just, it's just the same thing. Whether well, I'm writing it as minus 3i minus 2, or I'm writing it as minus 2 minus 3i, it's just the same thing. Now let's take another example that can help us to further understand division of complex numbers. Now let's see this example. This example says 7 minus 4i over 4 plus 3i. Now the first thing we're going to do is to pick the conjugate of the denominator. Now the denominator is 4 plus 3i, so the conjugate of the denominator will multiply it by 4 minus 3i, that's the conjugate of the denominator, over 4 minus 3i. So doing, we've only multiplied it by 1, because this is 4 minus 3i over 4 minus 3i is the same thing as, as 1. Now this will be the same thing as, let's, this will be the same thing as 7, now let's use our distributive property like we did in multiplication. 4 minus 3i minus 4i into 4 minus 3i all over 4 plus 3i. Now let's multiply this by 4. Minus 3i now again into 4 plus 3i. Now, the next thing is to open the brackets so that this becomes 7 times 4, that's 28, minus 21i, minus 16i, minus 4i, minus 3i. That becomes plus 12i squared over, now, 4 times 4, that's 16, plus 12i, minus 12i minus 9i squared. Now, I can open this. Let's collect like times. This becomes 28 
minus 21i minus 16i, that's 39i plus 12. Now, this i squared, remember, is the same thing as minus 1. So, I can replace it with minus 1 over 16 again. Now, I have plus 12i minus 12i. It cancels each other. It becomes 0. You see where the conjugates begin to play their roles. Minus 9 now into i squared, that's minus minus 1. So, that this is the same thing as 28. Now, 12. 12 times minus 1, that's minus 12. Let's just include this here. Minus 39i over 16 plus 9. Minus 9 times minus 1, that's plus 9. Now, this expression can now be opened to 28 minus 12. That's 16, if I'm not mistaken. That's 16 minus 39i over 25. Over 25, sorry. This 25, not 28. Over 25. Now, you can now use your calculator to divide 16 over 25 and minus 39 over 25. Now, I'll leave you with that. And also, finally, I hope with this, with this, I hope you understand how to divide complex numbers. Let's take a final example. Our third example says 4 minus 5i all over 1 plus 2i. Now, the conjugate of this expression or the conjugate of the denominator 1 plus 2i is the same thing as 1 minus 2i. So we multiply both the top and the numerator, both the denominator and the numerator. Sorry, the top is the numerator and the bottom is a denominator with minus 1 minus 2i. Now let's open this. That will be 4 now into 1 minus 2i minus 5i into 1 minus 2i. Now all over 1 into 1 minus 2i plus 2i into 1 minus 2i. Now, so that this now opens up to 4 times 1, that's 4, minus 8i minus 5i plus 10i squared over 1 times 1, that's 1, minus 2i plus 2i minus 2, oh, that's 4. 4, sorry, 4i squared. 2 times 2 is 4. Now, from this, you see that also the conjugates are playing their role. Minus 2i plus 2i becomes 0. So, I can expand this to be 4 minus 8i minus 8i minus 5i. That's minus 13. Minus 13i. Plus 10i, that's 10 into minus 1. Remember, i squared is the same thing as minus 1. Over 1 minus 4 into minus 1. Now, that's, that opens up to 4 minus 13i. Now, but look at this. I have 10 minus 1. That's minus 10. Minus 13i. Everything over 1 minus 4 minus minus 4 into minus 1. That's plus 4. That's positive 4. So that this becomes negative 6. 4 minus 10 becomes negative 6 minus 13i over 5. Over 5. Now we can easily divide this even with our calculator. 6 over 5, that's the same thing as 1.2. That's minus 1.2 minus 13 over 5. That's 2.2. That's 2 or number 3 over 5. That's 2.6. I think that's 2.6. Use your calculator to just check that up. That's 2.6. Once again, I hope with this, you understand how to perform division of complex numbers using conjugates. How to perform division of complex numbers using conjugates. And for our take-home example, please do not hesitate to solve this and share your results with us in the comments section. If I have 3 minus 5i over 
6 minus 9i. Please do not kindly solve this and share your results with us in the comment section. In case you've not subscribed to our channel, please do not hesitate to do, hit the subscribe button. That way you'll be sure to get notified anytime we create such lessons as this. Thank you for staying with us and see you in our next class.